To take the viewer on a white knuckle ride over and down the largest curtain of falling water on Earth is to be the greatest technological challenge for the directors of Enchanted Kingdom. And this is one of the most ambitious shots I've ever seen in my 20 years of wildlife filmmaking. Certainly one of the most ambitious shots in this movie. The location is Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. This is where the full width of the Zambezi River plummets in a sheer vertical drop into a narrow gorge 100 meters deep. The idea is to suspend a special spider cam rig known as the Falcon between two scaffold towers either side of the gorge. This is a dangerous task, as well as the torrent of white water, local wildlife increases the risk. Utilizing cables and remote pulleys, the spider cam should allow the 3D camera to glide just above the water surface, then plunge over the edge and down the falls. It's never been tried before. While the towers are being constructed, the team concentrate on a bigger problem, getting the cable across the gorge from one tower to the other, a distance of 300 meters. We talked about bringing a helicopter in or flying some sort of kite. Like We came up with all sorts of different wild and crazy ideas, but the, believe it or not, the least crazy idea was to send Walter Burkhardt uh, abseiling down over the lip of the falls to the bottom of the gorge and then fire the line down to him so he could crawl up with it. Walter is a world-class mountaineer and rock climber who's completed some of the most dangerous rock climbs on the planet. But the spray makes these particular cliffs slippery and treacherous. Okay, I'm in position uh, just to the, your left of the big tree. Unexpectedly, the updraft from the waterfall carries the line 30 meters off target, where it gets snagged in thick bushes. Just leave it right there, it might cascade down. There's nothing for it. Walter must abseil across the dangerous rock face to retrieve it. With the rope in hand, Walter makes the long, arduous climb to the top. The line can now be connected up to the second tower and the cable pulled taut across the gorge. It's taken six days of hard grind just to reach this point. We're so nearly there, we're like in the 11th hour of seeing if this shot can happen. The team are just working wonders. If we can pull this off, it's just going to be a truly memorable shot. As the camera glides towards the edge of the falls, it's a tense moment for the entire team. Suddenly, there's a problem. gutted right now because our first trial run, the, uh, the river caught one of the cables and sucked it underneath the rocky ledge, which has stranded our camera out over the lip. Approximately half a million dollars worth of gear dangles out of control. Pulling on the cable risks dunking the camera. of trying to dislodge it, the decision is taken to risk everything and push the camera further out over the gorge. And we suddenly realize that if instead of pulling it back, we just kept pulling it in the other direction, it might come loose. And sure enough, that's what happened. Finally, as dawn breaks on the last day of the shoot, it's now or never. Today is the day of reckoning. We've, we've got to get it right today. 
And this really is the moment of truth. And I'm excited about it and I'm optimistic about it. After seven days of intense effort, it all comes down to these last few moments.